In this lecture, we will learn about SELECT clause, which is the most important clause in structured query language. The SELECT clause is the first clause in any SELECT statement. The SELECT statement's main purpose is to retrieve the data from the database table and return it in a tabular structure. The SELECT clause defines the columns that will be returned in the final tabular result set. The SELECT clause is executed after the FROM clause and any optional WHERE, GROUP BY and HAVING clauses if present. The FROM clause builds an intermediate result set from which the SELECT clause ultimately selects and the data to be returned. However, the presence of a GROUP BY clause changes the structure of this intermediate table, thus changing the data available to the SELECT clause when it's finally executed. The general select statement looks like this. There are mainly two types of select statements. Select star from table name. In this statement, star or asterisk symbol is a special type of keyword which means all. Here the select statement clause will return all columns retrieve using the from clause or a given table. In another SQL statement, which is select column 1, column 2 from table name, the select clause only returns the column names mentioned in the SQL statement. Let's learn about SQL select statement with some practical examples. Here I have logged in inside my MySQL database server. Let's select the school database using SQL statement use school. In previous lecture, we already populated our students table with the data rows. Let's execute select statement. Type select star from students semicolon to terminate the SQL statement. Press enter to execute the statement. Here you can see select statement return all the columns with all the records available in the students table. Now let's execute another select statement to get only specific columns. Type select first name comma age from students. Press enter to execute the statement. And this time you can see the select statement return only two columns, that is first name and age, with their values. Again we can select different column names like select student ID, comma last name, class from students, press enter to execute the statement and again this time select statement return only the given column names and their values. We can execute the select statement the same way on different database tables like company database. Let's select the database first by using SQL statement use company and execute the statement on employees table like select star from employees select star from employees And the SELECT SQL statement will return all the columns and data rows. On the other hand, by defining column names in SQL statement will return respected column in the result set. SELECT NAME JOB TITLE, comma, 
from employees. And sure enough, the SQL statement will return name and job title columns with respected values. Practice the select statement on other database and tables. The select statement can be combined with another clauses to filter the data rows more precisely. 